Hello, everybody. How are we all doing? I gotta kind of whisper. Um, my wife's sleeping in the other room. So, welcome to a Night Owl edition of Johnny's Diecast Going to Store. Uh, I got a consignment piece here for you. So, this is the last hauler that I have. And I may just list this on eBay. I think I'm gonna ask uh, $25, but best offer. So, it's got a really nice. Willie's Gasser in the back. So, 1970 Dodge L600 cab over engine. 41 Willie's Coupe. That's not a Gasser, I'm sorry. But that is a really, really nice car in there. See through trailer. Um, I wasn't doing it before. Well, if you heard that. So, there's a screw that fell out of place in one of these. So, that's that's rolling around under the base. So, that's the only issue that's uh, really wrong with it. It's a little dusty, but the microfiber rag will take care of that. So, as for other trucks I got, I found a set of TA. This is a Mac Anthem, and I just really like the color, the black and the teal. Plus, I love trucks with these kind of fenders on them. I, I kind of wish my truck had fenders like that, but you definitely don't put fenders like that on a truck I have. So the detail is pretty good. Um, 164th, which it actually is 164th. Um, it, it has to have a little asterisk there, but let's compare this. So I have a little Barbie Corvette. Uh, I'd say that's about right. I mean, I think that's about right. I don't know if I have like a loose car around me. I don't. Which is kind of weird, but I don't. So that's fine. Um, this is by Maisto. And you'll typically find these maybe at Walmart. I don't know. I haven't really uh, ventured inside Walmart lately. Still got a little bit of a tiff with them. But this is actually pretty cool. Um, the box itself is very displayable. Probably stack it as well. So the truck is just... It is a really nice truck. So, would I ever drive a Mac Anthem? Probably not. I don't like no vehicles. But, so when my wife and I did go to Hobby Lobby, we found these. I love these. The uh, 93 Mercedes Benz G Class. I've always liked the G Class. Don't ask me why. I know it's a box. It was inspired by a square. But it is just a really, I think it's just a really cool truck. Uh, much like the Land Rover Defenders. I like those Toyota 4Runners. Um, so yeah, these these are really cool. I bought two. I'm not sure whether I want to sell one and keep the other one for me, trade one, keep the other one for me, or just keep both because why not? Um, no, I I think at some point I, I probably will sell this one. So these are really cool, um, and I actually really do like them. I'm kind of surprised uh, Hot Wheels hasn't done more of the G Class, but that's that's all because I like it, right? So, anyways, uh, three minute video. I want to see if I can find anything else close by that I want to share with you people. Um, ah, here we go. These two are listed on eBay. And the best thing about these two is you get the short card with the long card. So you get two of them. One's got a black base, the other one's got a silver base. So I'm not sure if you guys can actually tell. But, yeah, black base, silver base, black base, silver. So, you're pretty much getting, like, two different cars that are supposed to be the same. But, let's find out where this one was made. So, this one says Malaysia. And Malaysia. So, they're both from Malaysia. Both have different bases. I don't think one's an error. I just think it's just how they were made. So that is actually pretty cool. Um, these are listed on eBay. They're very affordable. It might be $10 free shipping. It could be $12. Um, I actually forgot what I listed them for. But you can go check out Donnie's, uh, Johnny's Diecast Corner. And that's Johnny spelled with two H's. So um, that being said, I really don't know if I'm being loud. I mean, she'll probably tell me. But uh, yeah, so... 
We got um, the hollows. This might be on eBay. That might be on eBay. These are on eBay. And my G wagons. And one of them might go on eBay. Who knows? Anyways, that's all I have for you tonight. Um, I'm a night owl. I'm usually up until two, three o'clock in the morning, and it's kind of weird. But and I'm up at like seven forty-five. So, vicious, vicious cycle. Anyways, everyone, be good. Have a nice day. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Later.